On to our next story now, a groundbreaking advancement from the world of science. Scientists say they have created synthetic human embryos. They say they bypass the need to use sperm and eggs and use stem cells to create the embryos. The synthetic embryos are similar to those in the earlier stage of human development. Now, scientists say these could provide a crucial window into the impact of genetic disorders and biological causes of recurrent miscarriage. The aim for this research is to understand what scientists refer to as the black box period of development. It is called so because scientists can cultivate embryos in labs up to a legal limit of 14 days. After this, they have to pick later on by looking at pregnancy scans and embryos donated for research. The work was reportedly described in a plenary address at the International Society for Stem Cell Research's annual meeting in Boston. However, the full details of the latest work from the Cambridge Occultic Lab are yet to be published in a journal paper. Now, Robin Lovelow Badge, the head of the Stem Cell Biology and Developmental Genetics at the Francis Crick Institute in London, says, and I quote, If you really model normal human embryonic development using stem cells, you can gain an awful lot of information about how we begin development, what can go wrong without having to use early embryos for research, unquote. Now, earlier, a team at the Wiseman Institute in Israel showed the stem cells from mice could be encouraged to self-assemble into early embryo-like structures. However, when they were implanted into the wombs of female mice, they did not develop into live animals. This raises the key question, whether the synthetic cells of the stem-based embryos, in theory, have the potential to grow into a living creature.